Outstanding. You know, I'm watching all of the uh, talking heads in sports media this morning on TV, Tony, and I know they're trying to sell the thing. I know it's a propagandizing thing, but everybody's talking about this as a must win situation. Uh, and from my perspective, it's not. I mean, what are you thinking with it's, the Eagles? I don't think it's a must win. Obviously, they'd like to win and they obviously look would like to come out and look like a professional football team. The biggest problem with this team, I heard you talking about Wentz. There's no doubt about that. But I think Wentz, in the losses, has played well. Remember, he's 0-2 on the road, so now he's on the road again. And all three games, they get off to slow starts. But this goes back to last year. The biggest problem to me right now, other than the wide receiver situation, is the fact that the Eagles can't run the football, and everybody knows it. They got Miles Sanders, the Penn State kid, on the second-round pick. They've been trying to force feed him into this offense immediately. And when you're a team that has Super Bowl aspirations and you went out and you got Jordan Howard from the Bears on a one year contract with no really intent to sign him long term uh, after this season and you don't use Jordan Howard as your primary back, I think that's been the biggest problem. Howard, in his limited opportunities, is the kind of back that can pound the football and get you two, three, four, five, and maybe even break. He's the kind of guy that doesn't need a hole to get some yards. If he has a hole, obviously, he's much better. But we've been seeing Miles Sanders force-fed by Doug Peterson as a running back. He's done a great job out of the backfield catching passes. But as far as being the three-down back, I don't think he's ready for that yet. I think he's got a good future. But if you want to be a good team and you want to take some pressure off Carson Wentz, you have to run the football. And the Packers' defense, their only weakness has been giving up yards against the run. So if the Eagles can't come out and run the football against the Green Bay Packers with their limited offensive weapons, they do have, you know, they still have one of the best tight ends in football in Zach Ertz. As you mentioned, Alshon Jeffrey's supposed to play tonight. And these other guys, the Arce, you know, Ortega Whitesides, have to step up. Another draft pick from out there in California who has been thrust into a role that he really hasn't had much work in doing in the weekly reps with Carson Wentz in preparation for these games.